Today we'll learn how to close lips in Photoshop. Hello and welcome back to the PS Desire YouTube channel. In this amazing episode, we'll learn how to close your lips or mouth using an amazing Photoshop technique. I'm using this image for this tutorial, and the link to it is in the description, so you can download it and practice. The first step is to localize the area that will be edited, which in this case, is the mouth. To do that, select the Polygon Lasso tool, and select the area around the lips. Choose the largest possible space to allow for some flexibility when moving the lips slightly. It will produce some sharp edges, which will need to be softened in subsequent steps. As a result, we must choose enough space around the lips. Once you've made your selection, press Ctrl plus J or Command plus J to make the selected area a different layer. Hide the background layer now so we can edit the lip area freely. Delete the teeth that are inside the lips by using the Polygon Lasso tool or any of your favorite selection tools. Simply choose everything within the lips. Also, you can see that I'm leaving some spaces while making the selection, which is perfectly fine. And once you're finished with the selection, feather the selection by 5 pixels to soften the edges. Press the delete button so we've now removed the teeth from layer. Now we need to separate the upper and lower lips so that nothing gets compressed in between when we edit them. Select the polygon lasso tool once more and draw a line dividing the lips into two. You don't have to be absolutely perfect in here. After that press Ctrl plus Shift plus J or Command plus Shift plus J. Instead of copying, it cuts that part and simply pastes it into another layer. So now that they're separated, let's call them upper and lower. Here you can see a thin line. Don't worry, we'll take care of it later. Let's go to the upper lip and go to Edit, Puppet Warp. This brings up a Puppet Warp tool in your workspace. It allows you to morph this area using a Puppet Warp. You can move this area just like Liquify. First, select the locations to which you do not wish to move. So we don't want the corners of the lips to move in this case. Because when she smiles or closes her lips, one thing does not move, the corners of her lips. As a result, the corners of the lips must be intact. So, as an axis, click two points at each corner and make a point in the middle of the lip. Let's just drag it down. Once you've done that, hit enter or select the tick icon and select the lower lip. Let's go to edit, puppet warp again. As with the upper lip, make an axis out of two points at each corner of the lips. Make a point in the middle. Let's bump it to a higher level. To apply the changes, click the tick. Don't worry about being perfect right now because we'll shape it with Liquify. Select the upper lip layer, then go to the filter menu and select the Liquify tool. Zoom in so we can see everything clearly. Make sure to overlap it slightly, and once you're satisfied with the results, click OK. Let us do the same thing with the lower lip. Open this layer in the Liquify work area. You don't have to do everything all at once, instead, Nudge it gradually. When you're satisfied with the results, click the OK button. It's time to tidy up the sloppy edges. Simply select the upper lip and create a mask. Take a brush and keep the foreground black. As you can see, there are a few sharp edges that do not look good. Let's make the brush a little bigger. Paint over this area until the edges are soft. 
Select the lower lip and apply a layer mask. Carefully paint around the edges with black. It's softening now and looking more natural. Reduce the size of the brush and begin painting. All we need is for the lips to confront. Let's take a look at the before and after pictures. That's all for now, I'll see you in my next tutorial. In the meantime, stay tuned and consider subscribing for more tutorials.